Hey YouTube, it's Hanna Loba. If you want more Moto America content, check out the new and vastly improved Moto America Live Plus app. It's the only place you can catch all the race action in one place all season long. Click the link in the description below. Cameron Bobier was on pole, pretty close to track record pace, 123.9, Loris Baz and Sean Dillon Kelly. Yeah, with Josh Herring, Gagne, and Posh. So happy to see Brandon gridding back up after his incident yesterday, back there on row number two. Then we gotta go back to row three, Greg. We're gonna see JD Beach, Cam Peterson, and Bobby Fong. Uh, Ashton Yates, Gillum, and Escalante. Dude, what a run for Gillum yesterday. Fourth really place good. On a stock thousand. And Ash Ashton Yates as well as Benjamin Smith, as you see him there. Nolan Lampkins had a couple of issues this weekend. And then we got Danilo Lewis, Flinders, Arango, and Blackall there on row number six. So, yeah, we got six, uh, well, we got six rows here, so. And now we have all of it to race for in front of us. Lights off, and we're going racing. And it looked like Cameron Bobier got a pretty decent start. That's the number six left part of your screen, and it's gonna be Bobier who leads us, and there goes Sean Dylan Kelly into second place. And is that Josh Heron who got up into third? No, no it's not get, Baz. Yeah, it's Baz. Josh didn't get the greatest of starts there, so he's going to have to come from six. He's right behind J.D. Beach right now. Great start from Cam Peterson, who we didn't see riding yesterday. He was actually declared unfit yesterday, so he's had some work down there done oh, to him. Pass for yeah, the lead. SDK gets up underneath Cam Bobier in the middle of the keyhole, and SDK is going to lead him down the back straight. <laughs> That's 180 mile an hour speed cam right there is the number 40 on the easyhealthplans.com top pro racing bike. And Josh Heron just rode around the outside of JD Beach at the end of the back straightaway there. Now he's up the back of Cam Peterson. He's gonna dive down the inside of the 45. Heron making some moves early. Cam tries to go back by him. Isn't gonna be able to make that work. You see Heron give him a little shake of the boot there. It looked like of, hey, sorry about that. I'm trying to get going forward here. Bobby Fong also looking up underneath. J.D. Beach at the moment, but Heron knows if he wants a shot at winning this race, the guy he's got to catch is that number six, but right now it's the guy on the 40, Sean Dillon Kelly, our rookie for this year, and he's starting to cap just ever so slightly. He's been really impressive this year. Now the thing to remember too from yesterday is we had rain before we went to Steel Commander Superbike race. There were a host of riders on different tire combinations. So SDK did something pretty special as you see Heron now taking a shot down the inside of his teammate. He's going to move through to third. So the guy that was actually sixth up into the keyhole on the first lap. Okay. Three corners to go. He's making it up. Yeah, you can see on the left-hand side of our screen, this is when he went by his teammate a lap ago. And you know, for Josh, he breeds off of confidence. I mean, kind of get the feeling that maybe Heron's going to try to use the draft and pass down the back straightaway. Fans whoa. Of whoa, whoa, nice pass. I guess not. So there goes Josh Heron. There's a look at the pass on yeah. the left part of your screen. Yeah, left part of your screen. What he's able to do, Greg, is put that bike on a tighter line, but still make the corner and get the thing turned. So again, you're gonna see it here. He uses uh, the exit of turn one to straight line. We've seen where Heron's done it before. Could it be the next right-hander? He's getting a good drive. Does he's gonna try to sneak up underneath them. And there he goes, he's got position. So just like that, Josh Heron. Boy, that's a gutsy place to pass, and he's able to get it done. It's gutsy, but when you're on a motorcycle that you know you can make that pass, look at SDK, wants to sneak back up underneath oh! him, and he stands Josh Heron up. So that's gonna be great for SDK. You'll see the number two. He's going to get the bike stood up right, go to the right side of SDK. And as he opens up turn two, Heron just drives right on through that door that gets open. And then the same thing here. Heron's going to get that Ducati out. Just, he just misses the apex ever so slightly there. Pushes him out wide. Just kind of be patient, but another good run as they head to turn number two. Is SDK going to leave the door open? He doesn't. Josh just looks like he's sitting up. He looks like he's sitting there. I know he's trying and all that. Now keep in mind too, Greg, I got the tire chart from Dunlop. And Bobier has done 24.9 and doing 25 threes. So you would think for SDK out front that he's doing a great job consistently. Has Heron had enough of following John Dillon Kelly? It looks like he might have a run. No, he just closes up. But Cameron's able to make it up in other spots. But it's like, do I have a weapon to attack? Is as Kelly sends the front wow. wheel on the air, and that almost gives an opportunity for Heron to just roll on by. Josh, given the opportunity to pass, I think would take it. Yeah, well, it goes back to the fact that Heron's fastest lap is half second slower than they've been running. 
So now you can see Heron. See the body position change? Yeah. You see Heron getting just a little bit more racing out. Turn one, Greg. I said it was going to be turn one or turn two, and that's exactly what it is. Now you watch the Ducati rider now. He's going to go try to sprint. That was where we saw him pretty quick. And you can see SDK tipping in a little bit earlier there. Heron opens that up, and he rolls that Ducati through, bucking him out of the seat there just a little bit. But look at the gap now. And for Heron, this is qualifying lap number two on the final lap as he has his head down and he went through the best sector for Josh Heron and he has gapped his com competitors. What a race, what a smart race Josh Heron has had. This rider at 34 years old followed his competitors until these last two laps. Now they come down the back straightaway. SDK has a good run deep on the brakes. Look at Sean Dilly Kelly going sideways. He's closed the gap on Heron, but Heron scoots away. Now up and over this hill. That's a very extreme sharp angle. They go down the hill. SDK not trying to give it up. But this is only the second look that Kelly has had on Josh Heron in the latter stages of the race. There's no place to do it right now. Where is Sean Dillon Kelly going to do it? He's too good there. Heron's too good there. And he's going to come out of this next. Go down here up to fourth. And they're going to go back to second here, Greg. And then as they exit this turn, he's going to move all the way to the right side of the track and park that Ducati on the inside all the way through here. Not going to allow SDK to go by him. And we know how good he is here. Bring him home. Here comes Heron, final corner, onto the front straightaway. Ducati sliding sideways, and Heron will take victory by three-tenths of a second and extend his championship points lead. And another battle going on. It's the 45 of Cameron Peterson who gets by Escalante. Escalante gets back by him again as they come down to the final corner. Oh, here in Ohio, no! Hayden Gillum goes down. Hayden Gillum, who is in seventh place, crashes out on the last lap, and J.D. Beach will come across the line in sixth. Yeah, yeah that Brand Brandon, Brandon Posh, Posh. He's not he, getting scored. He got last. Oh, he did? Yeah, he, he came okay. back in, Jay. I believe okay. that he's yep, lap traffic in 18th place. And Josh Heron, what a master class of racing. If you're a young racer and you have pace, and you're a look at the results. Heron with a three-tenths of a second victory over Sean Dillon Kelly, Cameron Bovier in third, Loris Faz, Bobby Fong, J.D. Beach, Escalante, Peterson. It's coming. He, if you just keep putting yourself in those positions to be there to win, eventually it's going to happen. Yeah, for Sean Dillon Kelly, he's been fast ever since that test session back on Thursday, learning this new facility for him and for the top pro racing team. They made quick work of it, a great weekend. But for Josh Heron, being able to do the double first time in his Superbike career.